it's the same thing, but it's been twisted a little bit, and it's actually not that bad. Hey guys, this is Jeremy here with my review for episode 5 of Supernatural Season 14. Now you might notice something a little different here. Um, I downloaded a program called CineStyle. This is the first time I'm using it, so this actually kind of looks a little cool. Anyways, the episode itself, it is a retconning of things, but in a good way. For the most part. The whole idea of this episode is that the brothers go to this house where one of their hunters who's using selfie image thing gets attacked by some sort of ghoul and when they go to the house they find this old man and this nurse and it's kind of like a curator thing. But all the while they get attacked by different beings but they explode into dust when they're killed. So admittedly this episode actually had me going for a loop for a little bit because I actually couldn't pin down what was happening. Now that they've introduced this whole Michael upgrading the monsters thing. It is basically Mother of All version 2.0, but it has a little bit of a twist on it. And what it turned out to be was a, gen a genie. What this genie has now is the ability to manifest these dreams and these nightmares into reality just from touch. So that's kind of cool. It's now a projectionist and like a physical arm sort of creator, which was kind of cool. And admittedly, we delved into alternate universe Bobby, who now has a different form of pain and torment on him, and his son was killed during the Angel War. And admittedly, they never found his body, which is an interesting kind of story twist. It, re it kind of resembles that of what happens with actual fallen soldiers. Sometimes bodies aren't found, and the, un the not knowing is worst of all. Right? And so that's what haunts him. But they also use that as a means to write Mary and alternate Bobby out of the season for a little bit. They're going off to a cabin to... I don't really know. I, I don't know exactly what they're doing. Except going for self-help therapy or some fooey. But that's pretty much the weakest part of the episode. What I actually kind of thought was interesting is that Sam is basically a teacher now. He went to law school, and now he's a teacher. So this is the first time that Sam has had development in a long time. So the idea of him being a teacher is pretty cool. Admittedly, we get similar, 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 similar dialogue that we've seen like at the end of the episode. Don't worry, Dean, we're gonna hunt down Michael, we're gonna kill him. How? We'll find a way. Like, now this wouldn't matter if, you know, the boys hadn't defeated Lucifer twice. They hadn't defeated everything they've come across. So, again, I really think that they should avoid this kind of dialogue because it's cir it's circumstantial. It We know how it'll end, so don't kind of pull on it. It's not working. But, aside from that, this actually is the best episode of the season so far. It's not saying much considering just the caliber of the season so far, but it wasn't a bad episode, so I'll give it that. In the end, I'm going to give episode 5 of Supernatural Season 14 a 5 out of 7. I enjoyed this episode. I actually was quite entertained with just the ooh aspect of it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.